All right, so here we have a question applying the basic rules of limits. And this may seem a little bit intimidating at first, um, but it's not too bad at all. And why is that? Because we can actually break it all down. And how does that work? I can actually apply the limit to these items individually. And I can even do this. It can go three times the limit as x approaches a of f of x plus two times the limit as x approaches a of g of x minus two times the limit or rather yeah we'll just actually do minus the limit as x approaches a of two you can actually break it all down like this and how does that help us well well, I know that the limit as x approaches a of f of x is just 2. So this whole thing is just 2. Now the limit as x approaches a of g of x is negative 1. So this whole thing here is just negative 1. And last but not least, we got limit as x approaches a of 2. Take a guess for what that's going to be. And by the way, don't forget, like, we have these numbers still. Like, I'll copy them down. Well, I guess I'll just copy them down right now. So, plus 2. <laughs> there we go. Minus. Now, the limit as x approaches a, and a is just a constant of 2, is just going to be actually 2. Every time we have the limit as x approaches something of a constant, we're just going to get the constant. So, that's it. So, in this case, that's 2. Great, so we just get 3 times 2, 6. 2 times negative 1, negative 2, minus 2. 6 minus 2, 4 minus 2, 2. And that is our final answer.